Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmawesomemoon.com and Daniel on the back. And today I'm going to be sharing another what we eat in a week video with you today. All right, let's dive right in. You know that I love sharing what we're eating because we're making food, might as well share it. On day one, we did ribs with a side of carrots and potatoes. I've shared it before on here, but we like to order pork in bulk. We order half a pig, we order half a cow for our beef and our pork, and that means that we get a lot of different cuts, which is awesome. For ribs, I like to just cook them really slowly. For this particular time, I mixed up a bunch of different seasonings, a little bit of brown sugar, patted it all over the ribs, and then cooked it on, I believe it was around 300 degrees all day long. I just left it in the oven. The only problem we have with ribs is there's never enough. Everybody loves them, of course, and you don't get enough of it. Even when you order pig, you don't get a lot of ribs, but when you do, they're so good. And of course, you wanna dip it in all of the juices that come off. That is also a really delicious addition. On day two, we did sourdough crust pizza. We did a hike last Sunday and found morels. It's morel season, we love morels. Now, probably when this video goes out, it's gonna be way past morel season. I think it's already pretty much to the end here in Missouri, so depending on where you live, you might still be able to find them. Every year, they're such a treat. I will put them in eggs or just anywhere that you normally would use mushrooms. I like to use morels. This particular time, I cut them in half and sauteed them in a little bit of butter. And after baking the sourdough pizza crust and adding the sauce and sausage, I just put them on top. I didn't want to overcook them, but they were the main feature of this pizza. I made the kids without it because I didn't want to waste any mushrooms on kids who wouldn't appreciate them as much, but then they were all begging for our pizza. So they did want the mushrooms. So we only found a few, so we didn't get a ton, but definitely enjoyed them. On day three, we did a sourdough skillet. I talk about this meal a lot. You can make it a million different ways. For today's version, I made it into a Mexican sourdough skillet. For a Mexican sourdough skillet, I do like to top it with sour cream and avocados and salsa. So good. Day four, I was doing vlog recipes and I was making sourdough buns, which by the time this video goes out, those will be up. So I will leave a link down in the description box to my sourdough buns recipe. So because I was making buns, I of course made burgers and we had burgers with cheese and they were so good and we got to enjoy long fermented sourdough buns.
Day five, I did pot pie. We can't get enough of chicken pot pie. I think I've shared this in several of my what we eat in a week videos. At some point, we will probably get sick of it, but as of right now, we have not. We absolutely love it. It just is such a comfort dish whenever you have some bone broth made and heavy cream. We were able to get ours recently from a local farm. In the spring, she has extra. We can get butter and cream, and that is always when things taste the absolute best versus buying store-bought cream. Now, if you don't have any bone broth made, Sometimes I will cook my chicken in the Instant Pot and just use what has come off the chicken as my broth. I did that this time because I didn't have any bone broth made and it tastes amazing, so that's always a good option. Also, I had a question on Instagram. What happens if you forget to lay out your biscuit dough the night before? That happens to me a lot because I'm just not a big planner. You will not get all of the benefits of long fermentation sourdough, but you totally can do it. So I did not lay my biscuit dough out the night before, but yet we still were able to have sourdough chicken pot pie. Day six, we did creamy potato soup. I totally forgot that I was making a What We Eat in a Week video and forgot to get the camera out. It was a busy day, but I'll tell you how I made it. I cut up potatoes, onions, lots of fresh garlic, cooked it all in bone broth that I made from my chicken on the chicken pot pie day. I used less broth this time because we have cream from a local farm. I wanted to make up a lot of the liquid component of this soup in cream. So I cooked it all in my enamel cast iron pot all day, I just let it simmer, in a small amount of bone broth so that it wasn't very liquidy and then I just added heaping spoonfuls of my cream. It was so creamy, I added lots of black pepper, lots of salt, and then we topped it with some homemade sour cream. I just put a starter culture from Cultures for Health, I will leave a link down in the description box below, into my cream from the dairy and then just let it sit out. I've also been experimenting with making homemade sour cream by putting a little bit of prepared milk kefir in cream. I do prefer the taste of the sour cream starter culture. It tastes more like regular sour cream. So good. We also like to top our potato soup with bacon and avocados makes it extra filling and delicious meal. Day seven, again, from my pig from Geesert Farms, we needed to cook up some pork steaks. I made them exactly like I make my pork chops, which I like to make sure that we've cooked bacon recently. So because we cooked bacon for our potato soup, I reserve the bacon grease and I like to brown pork steaks or pork chops in bacon grease. It's so delicious, I mean, obviously. It's bacon grease. So I get the bacon grease really hot. I brown the pork chop on both sides, or in this case, the pork steaks. I added a lot of onions on top and seasonings and salt, and then just put the lid on and then just let it cook in there for a while to get it nice and soft. Now today, in this case, I decided to make a risotto with rice because ever since I started making risotto, which has been recently, I told you in my last What We Eat in a Week video, we're kind of obsessed with it. It's so good. I get on kicks with things and then I just kind of keep pulling those same things out till we're sick of it until something else comes along. So for risotto, I brown up the rice first. In this case, I added also some onions and celery and then cooked it in more of my homemade bone broth. And then after the pork steaks were cooked through, I cut them all up in small pieces, which isn't the most presentable thing, but it really works well for kids, so you can just dish it out. And then I combined the juices from the pork steak, the rice, the onions, and the celery all in one pot and served that next to some green beans. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this What We Eat in a Week video. I made a playlist because I am making so many of these. You can now visit the playlist and see all of my What We Eat in a Week videos. At this point, I have more than 10, and you can hopefully gain some inspiration for cooking in this current season. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're brand new to my channel, 
please hit that subscribe button. I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse. Thank you.